All right, you're welcome back to the Balanced Diet Hotel Entertainment. And just as we'll, we'll be talking before we'll be back, break about linking straight life from Ocean State with Bernard Akele giving us updates on top waiting the shell for inside Ocean because as we all know, just in case you don't know, today now the day for the rerun of the election for inside Ocean State. Now they, they began the first election um, process procedure on Saturday, will be 22nd of September. But for, for one or two, seven polling units to be precise, where they begin for cancel and that's not why they come outside. Say so that result was inconclusive and um, they make today as a day for the rerun of this election. Now we get Bernard Akele to give us reports on top of waiting that happened. Good morning, Bernard. Uh, good morning, ladies. A very, very good morning to Una. Uh, we go say today is D-Day. We go say today, now today. And of course, I know, say, as you feel see from my back, there is heavy, heavy security presence. Uh, at Dewali polling unit, one of the seven polling units where we were supposed to do the rerun elections, now we did so. Uh, they don't allow us to drive into the street, of course. No vehicle, they go there except security vehicles. Then they go down in there. Uh, but we go try our best to see whether we fit eventually get in there with our camera and transmit some signals. But as you, as you see for here now, um, the, the security presence here don't double, if not even quadruple self. You know, everybody, they're very, very careful as to what that they do. And we hear say now all the political parties now go contest, not just APC and PDP. The voting will take place all over again. So now if you want contest again, now you go come forward. If you feel say no need, uh, now you sabi. But we definitely know say the two leading parties, APC and PDP, uh, then go contest again. We don't already enter inside, go check what's in the happen. Voter has been there. The voters tell us, say, uh, they tell us, say, accreditation will start by 8 a.m. And also we hear, say, everything will start all over again. Forget waiting then do last week. Say, everything will start all over again. Accreditation and voting, now go start all over again. But I don't go give you all the gist. Uh, Mr. George is our news reporter, also there here. Now I'm in the liars with the people waiting inside. So he go constant by me. Now the full details of waiting the INEC people and the voters been tell us this morning when we enter. Go inside this morning, waiting the voters and the INEC officials who you speak with, waiting them and tell you about today's run. Uh, uh, waiting happened this morning, they say, when I uh, approached the INEC official, I was asking them what would be the routine for today. Uh, is, are, we, are they maintaining the, those people that have, uh, have, have been accredited last week? And uh, they tell me, say, no, that accreditation and voting will start fresh, that all of them will be very accredited before they can vote. And, but the thing we inside, we say, now only that 884 uh, registered voter, now then still have the opportunity to come do accreditation and come vote today. So you say, people will not get the chance to do accreditation last time. If they come now and say they want to do accreditation, they don't go allow them to do. No, like, no that is, that, that, those people, you know, say, last time, maybe now, out of the 888, 84, now maybe now only 300, can do accreditation last time, but this time, uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? say, what do you mean? Be say, we uh, ask more people where get their voters card, where you vote, where registered voter, where get uh, voters card. As long as that number is still within the 887, 887, they can come for accreditation and they can vote. That now, what do you mean by that? All right. Now, also, while we've been there, there we'll be seeing one kind of small drama. Hopefully, we will first send them to now, so that we can see what we've been seeing there. Uh, Mr. Judges, we've been seeing, say, they get uh, the, the organ of police where they're there. They ask people, say, may they come, may they come show their voter's card. But they get one man where we say, uh, they call the tackle and say, you know they here before, you know they here before, where your voter's card? What do you mean happen to that man? You know, the, this, this is still all about politics. You know, if you, if by the time this, uh, so they, they know, this man, where did they talk, say, he no day here before. He no day here last week. He no day here last week. You understand? One of them to confirm. But the, the thing is that that person will confirm and come to say, in voter's card, they for in pocket. Inside, inside the post, they for in pocket. And that last week, now they still that uh, post. Then when they don't know, say, he no get voter's card again. They come, they tell the police, say, you, they, you know, suppose they here. He say the man no suppose they here. You understand? He say the man no suppose they here because they know say you know get voter's card again. They can't tell the police. They make the police ask him where your voter's card. Make him show him voter's card. Even get voter's card, he go say. Mm -hmm. But if you, if they no see voter's card, make them tell and make it come on. Okay. All right. So you see a lot of desperation now. Now you go go.
part is no say they are dealing with just a few number of voters, unlike the last time we we'll be saying thousands of people now come out and vote. Now the number they very, very slim. So now make or break time for them. Is it that you win these few voters or you lose the voters? Right. Um, All right, Bernard. I, I don't know what I did. Sorry for that and little network. Um, you know, say sometimes network not be our friend. All right, so Bernard, just yesterday, we'll be here said the aspirant for SDP, Social Democratic Party, and Senator Yola um, um, Omishere, be actually come aside and declaring full support to the All Progressive Congress candidate. Now, how do people of Oshun State actually take that news? Well, um, the news come with mixed feelings. So, because even we say we get calls from Lagos, people they call us to confirm that particular information, and we too been here. Um, well, you know, say as I've been talking earlier, the number of voters now they very very slim, and shared amongst the parties. So, the two leading parties, APC and PDP, then they find alliance and allegiance from any and everybody. So, well, the people to answer your question, how the people been taken for here? Uh, people basically just they surprised. But their owner make we vote, make the right person enter. Then no say now the thing is just basically between APC and PDP generally. So the two parties, APC and PDP, they find who then fit drag enter their party to make the party stronger. For the people here, their owner just to vote and make the right person enter. But for the parties, their owner to get the biggest or the highest number uh, of, of voters. All right, Bernard. Now, looking at um, the way security personnel don't fool that area, um, the, and, and you don't come outside talk, say so the number of voters where they try to show up, they like, say they are fewer than the last time when they come outside. The security patrol officers, now, because of tension waiting for there or potential badness where it happen, because we hear of protests where be shelling not too long ago for inside Oshun State based on this election. Why so much security patrol this time around compared to the last one we shared on Saturday? Well, obviously, the, uh, the security of operatives have been there before. They've been calculating them share them among the 30 local governments. But now, when it don't reduce to just about four local governments, um, of course, it means that the number of security operatives to the number of polling units, uh, it go come double now. That's one. Then two, of course, now, as I mentioned earlier, say, the parties now go they very desperate, you know, to win votes. And when the expression day, uh, people are liable to do, or people get, go, won't do anything and everything possible. So to make sure, say, none of this go happen, now you make the increase the security operatives where they are around here. So not just for here, for if uh, for uh, Orulu and the other places to where they go vote, while we go reach there, you go also see, say, security operatives to don't increase for the just to make sure, say, out of the expression, no, nobody come here, come for store violence. If at all anybody get out of her mind, by the time he reach here, the intimidation of the security presence self go make a step step back. But the truth be say, but the truth be say, it know they affect anything at all. Um, in fact, when we enter the street where we where they're supposed to vote today, the Ogawa police been they tell some of the armed policemen, those ones who hold rifles, say make them no stand where the voting they happen. Make them just stand for the entrance and the exit of the streets so that they no go to so that their presence no go to intimidate or cause fear uh, for the minds of the people who are supposed to come vote. All right, let's talk about um, um, if INEC don't actually call the aspirants for the party on top of um, maintaining peace, especially after this election. Because like Luchi talk, we don't hear of protests um, by the People Democratic Party. Um, some protests that they actually um, stormed Motion State just a few days ago. And we hear some people being stabbed. So you know whether INEC don't actually sit down and talk with some of the parties, say, come, if at the end of this election, Percy win, let's just accept it for what it is. Well, about uh, whether INEC don't call them to tell the party leaders, send me them for stall peace. Um, I'm not sure say INEC call them individually or one-on-one. -on -one. We don't have that information. But what do we know? We say for the briefing, the, the press release where INEC has been given, of course, at the end, INEC, they always tell everybody, say, um, no vote is worth any drop of blood. Say, this vote is no be do or die. Now, to, to, you know, to install the right person to lead the state. So, now, general blanket uh, uh, information, now INEC don't give. Everybody in general, whether the political parties or the party leaders or the voters or uh, press people, security operatives, I neck just tell everybody in general, every time when they give press release, say this election is supposed to be free and fair and supposed to be free of violence. Say nobody come here, come die, nobody come here, come fight. Now just to come vote and to vote in the right candidate of your choice.
Now we see INEC tell everybody be that. All right, the very last question why I get now looking at the staff, the INEC staff where they bring come this local um, government, this local um, government for the election. Because we know say as at last Saturday, he get a particular INEC official where they nearly beat up. In fact, they actually beat him up and they nearly killed him, if not for the due intervention of the security personnel who be there around to rescue him. Um, and of, would, would they come outside they wonder if these same people we actually did this particular local government on Saturday, now the same people where they here today will be Thursday on a new set of INEC officials waiting for the polling unit. No, actually, now the same people now for this one way they here uh, with the information that the same people uh, now is they here so that because basically now them know as everything may happen the last time now they get all the information and don't forget say um, different INEC officials are registered. If here, you know they come here. Last week, we supposed to and the information of the polling units, the information of the voters, the information of the parties, and everything where they're on ground. So, you know, going from um, Ocean State, because and based on the election with the today, Thursday, the rerun of the election, we go share at 7 the unit to be precise. Now you don't come as a report say from the polling unit where in day, now the same set of INEC officials, now in day for they will be done Saturday, now in day for day. And the reason why would they see more security agencies now because of say, now just seven polling units they are available compared to the 30 will be there for them on Sunday. So they begin for distribute the remaining people amongst the seven polling units and that's now why would they see say it be like say they heavily guarded. If not attention, you say right now the number of voters where don't come outside at least for this early morning, it is lesser than waiting they, they be see on Saturday. But this is just the beginning of the day. We go need to see how we unfold. Well, I'm going to surely they give you updates on what they happened for inside Ocean State. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.